Welcome back, Grade 8 students! So for today's lesson, we are going to discuss the digestive system. But before that, let's find out what is our most essential learning competencies today. Our milk is to explain ingestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. In this video, we will describe the functions of each organ of the digestive system and trace the pathway of food through the digestive tract. And also, we will explain how ingestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion take place in the body. So let me discuss first the basic parts of human digestive system and its function. Let's start with the mouth. Digestion in human starts in the mouth, where food is chewed and broken down to smaller pieces for easier digestion. This is so-called mechanical digestion. Next is the pharynx. Pharynx is a muscular waltz that function in the process of swallowing and it serves as a pathway for the movement of food from the mouth to the esophagus. Now, let's go to the esophagus. Approximately, the esophagus is 20 cm long. Its functions include secreting mucus and moving food from the throat to the stomach using muscle movement called peristalsis. Next is the stomach. The stomach is a J-shaped muscular bag that stores the food and breaks it down into the tiny pieces. It mixes food with gastric juices that contain enzymes to break down proteins and lipids. Hydrochloric acid in the stomach kills bacteria. Food found in the stomach is called chyme. Next is the small intestine. The small intestine is a little over 5 meters long and lies in the abdominal cavity surrounded by the large intestine. In the small intestine, the chemical digestion of food is completed and most of the absorption of nutrients takes place. The small intestine comprises three main sections, continuous with each other. Number one is duodenum. Uh, it is the first segment of the small intestine. It's largely responsible for the continuous breaking down process. Number two is the jejunum. It is the middle section of the small intestine and is about two meters long. The main function of the jejunum is absorption of important nutrients such as sugars, fatty acids, and amino acids. Number three is the ileum. Ileum is the last part of the small intestine. It connects to the secum, first part of the large intestine, and it helps to further digest food coming from the stomach and other parts of the small intestine. In addition, ileum absorbs nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, and also water from food so they can be used by the body. Now let's go to the large intestine. Absorption of water continues until the familiar semi-solid consistency of feces is achieved. Mineral salts, vitamins, and some drugs are also absorbed into the blood capillaries from the large intestine. The enter colon is about 5 feet or 150 centimeter long. Next is the rectum. Rectum is a straight 8 inches chamber 
that connects the colon to the anus. The rectum's job is to receive stool from the colon. Lastly is the anus. Anus is the last part of the digestive tract. It is a 2-inch long canal consisting of the pelvic floor, muscles, and the two anal sphincters. It is the opening to the lower gastrointestinal tract and connects to the rectum. Those are the basic parts of the digestive system. Now, let's proceed to the processes of digestive system. Food plays a central role in the survival of species. Food gives organisms energy that enables them to carry out the many activities they do each day. Organisms are able to obtain energy from the foods they eat through digestion. Digestion of food is carried out by the organs and substances of the digestive system. During digestion, food is broken down to smaller parts, a fraction of which is made up of nutrients. These nutrients are circulated to the different parts of the body through the bloodstream and assimilated by cells. The processes of digestions include five activities. First is the ingestion, second is the mechanical digestion, third is the chemical digestion, fourth is the absorption, and defecation or excretion. Now let's start to ingestion. The process of taking food into the digestive system is what we call ingestion. Our body begins to ingest the food into the mouth. The mechanical digestion of food begins in the mouth. Chewing or mastication is the first process of mechanical digestions of food by reducing food to small particles and mixing it with the saliva secreted by the salivary glands. When you swallow, your tongue pushes the food into your throat. A small fluff of tissue called epiglottis folds over your windpipe to prevent choking as the food passes into your esophagus. After you swallow, the peristalsis pushes the food down uh, your esophagus into your stomach. Next is the digestion. After mechanical digestion, the food is then broken down into simpler substances through the help of enzymes. After food enters your stomach, chemical digestion of food takes place. Glands in your stomach lining make stomach acid and enzymes that break down food. Muscles in your stomach mix the food with these digestive juices. The stomach slowly empties its contents, called chyme, into your small intestine. Now, did you know that the digestive system has accessory organs? Okay, the first uh, accessory organs of the digestive system is the pancreas. Your pancreas make a digestive juice that has enzymes that break down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. It delivers the digestive juice to the small intestine through small tubes called duct. The second accessory organs of the digestive system is the liver. Your liver makes a digestive juice called bile that helps digest fats and some vitamins. Bile ducts carry bile from your liver to your gallbladder for storage or to the small intestine for use. Next is the gallbladder. Your gallbladder stores bile between meals. When you eat, your gallbladder squeezes, uh, squeezes bile through the bile ducts into your small intestine. 
Okay now, uh, the next uh, digestion processes is the absorption. The digested food is absorbed into the bodily fluids from the alimentary canal or canal. The process of absorption takes place in the small intestine with the help of villi. The muscle of the small intestine mix food with digestive juices from the pancreas. Liver and intestine and push the mixture forward for further digestion. The walls of the small intestine absorb water and the digested nutrients into your bloodstream. Next process is the assimilation. The chemicals from food are then taken into the cells of the body after digestion and absorption. The food is absorbed by blood and is transported to various parts of the body by the blood vessels. And last process is excretion or defecation. The undigested food must be expelled or eliminated from the body as waste materials. In the large intestine, waste products from the digestive process. So again, those are the processes of digestion. And that would be all. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. See you on our next lesson. Goodbye!